Hello students. So we completed the chapter congruency and in today's class I will start with the new chapter circles. So first we will see what is a circle and the vocabularies related to circle. So a circle is the locus of a point which moves in a plane which are at the same fixed distance from a fixed point in the same plane. So this is the fixed point and you call this fixed point as the center of the circle and the distance OA we call it as radius and this line PQ is the diameter of the circle and this line LM, the line segment LM is the chord of the circle. So if you observe this diameter is the longest chord of the circle and OA is the radius, O is the center. Now in this class we will discuss about the chord properties. The first one. A straight line drawn from the center of a circle to bisect a chord which is not a diameter is at right angles to the chord. Now here you have a circle with center O, AB is the chord and OP is the line which is bisecting the chord AB. And if AP is equal to PB then angle OPA is equal to angle OPB is equal to 90 degree. So if this line from the center is bisecting this chord, it means it is making an angle of 90 degree at P. This is the first property of the chord. The next property is the converse of the first property. The perpendicular to a chord from the center of the circle bisects the chord. That means if you draw a perpendicular from the center of the circle, it automatically bisects the chord. If angle OPA is equal to angle OPB is 90 degree then AP is equal to PB that is when OP is perpendicular to AB then automatically it divides the it bisects the chord. The third one equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center. Now if you observe here you have a circle with center O and AB and CD are equal chords. So if the chord AB is equal to chord C CD it means they are equidistant from center. Now suppose you have the distance if chord AB is equal to chord CD then OP is equal to OQ. Equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center that is they are at equal distance from the center. Now the next property is the converse of the earlier property. Chords of a circle equidistant from the center of the circle are equal. Suppose this is P and Q. If the distance is equal from the center, then the chords are equal. Chord AB is equal to chord CD. So if the distance from the center to the chord are equal, then that means the chords are equal. Now using these four properties we will solve the sum. 
the first one a cord of length 6 cm is drawn in a circle of radius 5 cm calculates its dist its distance from the center of the circle so you have a circle and the length of the cord is 6 cm so here you have ab is equal to 6 cm and the radius of the circle that is your oa is given as 5 cm so this is the perpendicular line so you get ap is equal to pb which will be equal to 6 by 2 and it becomes 3 cm now if you observe the triangle oap it's a right angled triangle so by pythagoras theorem you can write oa square is equal to op square plus ap square so phi square is equal to op square plus 3 square 25 minus 9 is equal to op square which will give you op is equal to root over of 16 which is equal to 4 cm so op is your 4 cm that is the distance from the center of the circle now the second question a cord of length you have a cord whose length is 8 cm which is at a distance of 3 cm from the center of the circle so you have this cord which is 8 cm so you will get ap is equal to pb is equal to 8 by 2 which is 4 cm draw op perpendicular to ap so you get ap is equal to pb which is equal to 4 cm the perpendicular to a chord from the center of the circle bisects the chord that means ap will be equal to pb so ap will be equal to pb is equal to 4 cm here you have oa as the radius and the distance from the center of the circle is given as 3 cm and this is 4 cm if you observe in triangle oap which is a right angle triangle oa square is equal to ap square plus op square so you get oa square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square 16 plus 9 25 and therefore oa will be equal to 5 cm moving on to the next sum that is the third one the radius of a circle is 17 cm the radius is 17 cm so you have a circle with center o and 17 cm is the radius and the length of the perpendicular drawn from the center to a chord is 8 cm so op is 8 cm you have to find the length of the chord calculate the length of the chord that means you are supposed to find the length of ab again you have a right angle triangle triangle oap by pythagoras theorem you get oa square is equal to op square plus ap square 17 square is equal to 8 square plus ap square so this will give you 289 minus 64 is equal to ap square and therefore you get ap is equal to 15 cm but here you have to find the length of the chord that is ab which is equal to ap plus pb and you know here ap is equal to pb because the chord drawn from the center of the circle perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle bisects the chord so you get 15 plus 15 which is equal to 30 cm 
moving on to the next sum that is the fourth one a cord of uh, length 24 cm is at a distance of <clears throat> 5 cm from the center of a circle Fr find the length of the cord of the same circle which is at a distance of 12 cm from the center so here you have a cord ab which is 24 cm and the distance is from the center of the circle is 5 cm so op is 5 cm and ab is 24 cm the cord perpendicular the drawn from the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle bisects the cord so you get ap is equal to pb is equal to 24 by 2 12 cm now we can find the radius of the circle by applying pythagoras theorem in triangle o a p you get op square plus ap square so you get 5 square plus 12 square 25 plus 144 so oa will be root over of 169 and which is equal to 13 cm so you get the radius as 13 cm now the second part of the question is find the length of the cord of the same circle which is at a distance of 12 cm from the center so here you have another cord cd which is at a distance of 12 cm now this let it q let it be the q part okay so you have oq is perpendicular to cd and the distance here oq is given as 12 cm and you know oa is equal to oc is equal to 13 cm oa is radius oc is also the radius now in triangle oqc you get oc square is equal to oq square plus cq square this will give you 13 square is equal to 12 square plus cq square which will give you 169 minus 144 which is 25 is equal to cq square and therefore cq is equal to 5 cm so cd will be equal to 5 plus 5 which is equal to 10 cm so the length of the cord will be equal to 10 cm which is at a distance of 12 cm from the center of the cord now moving on to the next question um in the following figure ad is a straight line so here you have a this is a figure based question you have a, a concentric circle a concentric circle is a circle with a different radius but with the same center so op is perpendicular to ad this is perpendicular and O is the center of both the circles, and if OA is thirty-four centimeter, it is given, and OB is twenty centimeter, and OB is twenty, and OP is sixteen centimeter. You have to find AB. So this distance we have to find. So first. Uh, if you observe this figure you have two right angle triangle first one is triangle oap and the other one is triangle obp so according to pythagoras theorem in triangle oap you get oa square is equal to op square plus ap square so which is 34 square is equal to 16 square plus ap square this is 1156 minus 256 is equal to ap square 
and AP is equal to root over of 900 which will give you 30 centimeter. So you get the distance AP as 30 centimeter. Now in triangle OBP you have according to Pythagoras theorem BP square. So you have 20 square is equal to 16 square plus BP square. 400 minus 256 is equal to BP square which will give you 144 is equal to BP square and hence BP will be equal to 12 centimeters. Square root of 144 is 12. Now you have got AP, you have BP. We need to find AB which will be equal to AP minus BP. If you observe the figure AP minus BP you are left with AB which will give you 30 minus 12 which is equal to 18 centimeter. So this was the few sums uh, which I have done from this chapter where you are using the properties of chord of a circle that is the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle bisects the chord. We have used that property maximum time. Okay. Uh, and we will continue with the problems in the next class. Thank you children.